you look at the toga of exam syllabus one of the topic which is very important for you to crack and pass the exam is adm or architecture development method if you look at the weightage the topic covers around 50% of exam questions so to pass the exam it's very important that you are well versed with adm concepts also adm is heart of togaf so even in implementation of togaf architecture framework in your professional life scenarios good understanding of adm is needed in this video we will look at some of the typical questions of the topic which will appear in the togaf part 1 exam this topic this should help you to crack the togaf part 1 exam so what's the strategy to pass this exam you need to remember this adm cycle by heart you should also know the key activities objectives approaches and steps covered for each phase of the cycle I suggest you take a print out of this ADM cycle and paste it near to your desk area so that you remember this. Now before we start ensure that you have gone through day 4 to day 9 videos of my TOGAF tutorial where I have covered ADM and each phases of the cycle in detail. So go through this videos before you attempt uh, this practice test. I have provided the link of the videos in the description below so do check out if you haven't done so. Also don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for my channel so that you are updated as i post new video so all the best let's start the practice test of adm so question 1 which of this adm phases includes the development of application and data architecture the options are phase a b c d e this is quite straightforward if you know the adm cycle you should know phase c is where application and data architecture is defined so the correct answer is phase c next complete the sentence phase h is what is it prepares the organization for successful toga of architecture projects develop the baseline and target architecture prepare and issues architecture contract ensures that the architecture responds to the need of the enterprise or option e all of this phase h is architecture change management as seen in the adm cycle this phase ensures that architecture responds to the need of enterprise so the correct option is option d in which phase of togaf adm do activities include assessing the dependencies cost and benefit of the migration project is it phase e f g h h or requirement management the correct answer is phase f migration planning assigns cost dependencies and benefit for the migration project so the correct answer is option b phase f next which of the following is the final step in development of four architecture domain is it conduct former stakeholder review create architecture definition document perform gap analysis select reference model viewpoint and tools So the four architecture domain is B that that is business data and application and technology. So the final step in this domain is to is to create ADD or architecture definition document. So the correct option is option B, create architecture definition document. Let's go on. The next is which of the ADM phases includes the objective of establishing the organizational model for enterprise architecture. The options are preliminary, phase A, phase B, phase D, and phase E. The organization model is established in preliminary phase so the correct answer is option A preliminary phase Next which of the following statement do, does not describe the phases of ADM They are cyclic iterative each phase refines the scope each phase is mandatory the cycle through a range of architecture views Phases are not mandatory the ADM phases is recommended to be tailored so it's very well possible that these phases are omitted so the correct option is option is d each phase is mandatory which of the following adm phases is where sbb first appear in the adm cycle is it phase a b d e or g sbb or solution building blocks appears in phase e of adm where product specific building blocks are considered for the first time 
SBBs defined what products and components will implement the functionality, thereby defining the implementation. So the correct answer is option D, phase E. Next, which of the following best describe the reason to adapt ADM and take a federated approach? Is it the maturity of the architecture discipline within the enterprise? The use of ADM in conjunction with other enterprise framework? The ADM is being used by the lead contractor in an outsourcing situation? Or is it the option D? The enterprise is very large and complex. Now, large enterprise usually cannot be treated as a single entity and a federated, and a federated approach is recommended. So the correct answer is option D. Next, which one of the following is recommended way to evaluate the enterprise architecture maturity? Is it architecture principle, business scenario, CMM or capability maturity models, risk management? Probably you should have got the answer correct. The answer is capability maturity model. So let's get going. You guys are doing a good job. Just continue. Which of the ADM phases commences with the receipt of request for architecture work from the sponsor? Is it preliminary, phase A, phase E, phase G or phase H? If you remember my ADM lecture or have gone through those lecture, you must know that phase A commences with a request of architecture framework. So the correct option is option B, phase A. Which of the ADM phase includes the objective of establishing the organizational, organizational model for enterprise architecture? Is it preliminary, phase A, phase B, phase D, phase E? The preliminary phase as part of its objective establish the architecture capability. It includes defining and establishing the organizational model for the enterprise architecture. So the correct answer is option A, preliminary phase. Which of the architecture domain is the first archi architecture activity undertaken in the ADM cycle? Is it application, business, data or technology? The answer is easy if you remember BDAT, where B stands for business. So the first architecture activity undertaken is business and that's option B. In which of the ADM is an outline implementation and migration strategy defined or oh, sorry, generated? Is it phase E, F, G, H? So this is a bit tricky one. The outline of implementation and migration strategy is generated in phase E in opportunities and solution phase. So don't get confused with phase E and phase F. Though phase F is migration planning, the outline is generated in phase E. So remember that. In which ADM phase are the transition architecture defined in phase E confirmed with the stakeholders? And the answer is phase F, where the transition architecture defined in the previous phase E is confirmed with the stakeholder. So the option is option B, phase F. Next, in which of the ADM phase is an architecture contract developed to cover the overall implementation and the deployment process? So the options are phase E, F, G and H. And the answer to this is phase G. Architecture contract is defined in phase G. That's the implementation gov governance phase. You can check out my video on ADM where I've explained this in detail. Next, which of the following is an objective of phase H, architecture change management? Is it to finalize the architecture roadmap? Is it to manage architecture requirement defined during the execution of ADM cycle? Is it to perform architecture governance function for the solution or is it to operate the architecture governance framework? So one of the op objective of architecture change management phase H is to operate the architecture governance framework. So the correct answer is option D to operate the architecture governance framework. Let's get going guys, you are doing a great job. So next, which one of the following is a change that can 
always be handled by change management technique incremental rearchitecting simplification change so this is on change management technique and the correct answer is simplification change and that's option c again check out my videos for details next complete the sentence the process of managing architecture requirement applies to dash is it all adm phases or only the preliminary phase phase a the architecture vision of the requirement management phase so this is very important that the requirement change management is applied to all adm phases so help to remember this that requirement phase is applied to all adm phases and that's why you see it in the center interacting with all the adm phases next which of the following reasons best described why the adm numbering scheme for versioning output is an example and not mandatory is it to show the evolution of deliverables is it to permit adaptation adaptation as required or to enable to use with architecture content framework or to support the change management the numbering scheme provided in the togaf adm for its output is intended as an example it should be adapted by the architect to meet the requirement of the organization and to work with the architecture tool and repositories employed by the organization so the correct answer is option b to permit adaptation as required so this covers the video on adm practice quiz let me know if you have a comment section or if you have any particular question or you would like to get more detail on any of those question please ask your question in the comment and i'll be more than happy to reply that my best wishes for your exam work hard stay positive and stay humble thank you